Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Andy. We're back with more NCAA Football 07 with the Fresno State Coronavirus Dynasty. So today we're playing Idaho, and the reason this is at all interesting, so there's two things going on. We have a lot of guys visiting. We have several players uh, visiting. Oh, one thing I wanted to talk about first also is I think I'm going to institute a new rule because you've, you've probably heard me talking, if, if you've watched past games, You've probably heard me mention about how, because of the stats, <laughs> well, just for real quick though, I like how the, the shading of the graphic of that guy's head makes him look like, like an old man, like he's bald, that's kind of funny. Anyways, what I was going to say is, uh, you've heard me talk about how, because of the statistics, uh, favor defense, when you play the game versus simulation, it makes it a lot easier to get defensive players than offensive players. I think for that reason, I think, I know I haven't done it here, and I think I'm going to ride with what I have so far. I'm not going to cancel any recruiting or anything like that. But I think I'm going to put a rule on myself where I can only get three stars or less players unless they're from the Central Valley. Um, I don't know exactly which options there are for Central Valley towns, but I know you have, pretty sure you have Fresno and Clovis. I know Bakersfield's not on there, my hometown. That's where I live. I know it's not on there, so that's not an option. I don't know. I don't know what else there is. Like, Sacra in Sacramento, does that count? I feel like Sacramento should maybe count because there's no uh, major college football team there. They have the Sacramento State Hornets, but there's no Division One, 1A school. But anyhow, another thing I think I'm going to do as well, I'll probably, I'll probably create a short, like, one-minute kind of video that, that lays out all the, all the rules and things and things that I tend to practice. Uh, like self-imposed rules. Like he, I don't know if I've ever talked about it, but I, I don't run speed option. I don't run the cheese plays. Speed option, which is fairly cheesy, and I don't run. Uh, I don't run um, halfback direct. Those are just cheese plays. Also, they're not as reliable on Heisman either. Like they're not fun to run, and on Heisman they're not that reliable. So I choose not to run those. Uh, something I want to point out too. I just did this a moment ago, but I adjusted my audibles. So here on QB on the. Uh, I'll show you the formation. This formation right here, shotgun twin T uh, tight end slot. Now I can go freely back and forth between this pass play mesh, which I don't think I've ever run mesh. I mean, I like the concept. I run similar concept in different formations, but I haven't run that play, I don't think. So now I can freely go between QB slot option and mesh. Another change I made, so here, middle zig in. This is out of the formation from which I run the uh, receiver sweep option. With the, Right now we're running it with Paul Williams out of the slot. This will allow me to audible to a pass play if uh, if they're loaded up. Oh, I can flip it. Press black to flip play. I didn't realize you could do that because I, I was actually just about to say the only issue is to get Paul Williams in the slot where he receives the handoff, you have to flip the play, which would mean if I audible, the players are actually still, they're still going to have to move across the field to sort of the simple flex that's flipped. But if I can flip it here... That's money. Nobody has to move, so that's perfect. So I'm glad I came back to this to let you guys have a look. So the other thing I was going to point out is in the uh, four wide spread, what is this called? I think it's called spread. Shotgun spread flex. In shotgun spread flex, PA read flow is one of my main pass plays. QB slot option, obviously my main run play. So now I can freely go between those. So uh, I felt comfortable making those changes, mainly because I don't use, I don't use uh, audibles that much. And I think I probably should, since it's at my disposal. It's another, it's a huge tool that I can use for keeping the defense honest, which is really something I'm trying to do in this dynasty overall. That's like one of the more fun parts of the game. That's why I run QB slot option, because uh, because it's something to keep the defense honest, and it, it's and it's you know it's a basically a three option play. It's a QB keeper, or the handoff, or I have the option man. So, anyways, we're gonna proceed. Oh man, I got a new follower. That is Audrey Potamus. I think I know who that is. Shout outs to my man Jared, one of my best friends in the world. Tuning into the stream, I presume. So let's go. So I don't know, Jared, if you heard me discussing that stuff. But uh, okay, they take, they're taking the toss. So yeah, so uh, so we changed some audibles. We have a couple of guys visiting. Okay, also you'll notice here, and I mentioned it in a different game, we don't have announcers in this game. That's because Fresno State versus Idaho, not a matchup that warrants announcers. Yeah, man, what's up? What's up indeed? Dude, you're using my, my middle name there, Tiberius. 
I didn't give myself that name. And if you listen to Jim Rome, you know that you're not allowed to give yourself a nickname. So, anyways. Yeah, they're looking pretty overmatched. I don't know. Is Idaho even Division One in this game? I think they are. I think they're still Division One A in this game. Okay, I was trying to... I, I'm thinking we can have a game, hopefully have a game similar to... Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. I was just about to say, have a game similar to New Mexico State right off the bat. Throwing a pick. Quite nice. That's Simmons. That's the guy I put at QB last game. So I don't know if you checked that game out, uh, but that's where I had that glitch. That glitch is, is kind of interesting. Really, if you just watch, I think if you just watch the second quarter, you'll you'll get the full explanation on the glitch. So yeah, last game, just to explain what happened, and you can look it up on the YouTube, there is a, uh, there's a glitch in this game where if you, let's see, do we have a chance to use, oh, we could use, let's use the audible here. This doesn't look like a very good formation to run that again. Mash, here we go. So Paul Williams coming across the middle, or probably Bear coming across the other side. We'll go to Paul Williams. Yes, yeah, so there's a glitch where if a play gets reviewed and it involves the play you run, if it involves if it involves the play, okay, okay, so here it is. If you're running if you're about to run a play and the ref stopped the play to review it and it involves a different formation than the one you picked, you can get a glitch where it, it gives you hugely minus ratings in your players. So the situation that happened to me was I scored a touchdown then they reviewed the touchdown. Okay, we're gonna look to we're gonna look to uh, run the pitch man to Chaston here. Oh no no! It wouldn't let me snap it because the guy's in motion. Darn it! So I threw a touchdown pass. Um, actually, I'm do, let's get Paul Williams in the slot here, and we can run it to the other side. Um, I threw a touchdown pass to Paul Williams. I was lined up for the extra point. The ref stopped it to review the play, and then uh, they. So the, so the, and, and the play got reversed. So we're actually going to do a handoff to Dwayne right here. Oh, go, 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 go. Ah. Yeah, the play got reversed. So instead of extra point at the three, it's now fourth and whatever from like the 20. So there's some glitch where there's a glitch where uh, you, uh, it has something to do with position changes, but your guys will basically, some of your guys can potentially have their ratings super messed up. So I had Paul Williams ended up with 65 speed, but then he had a, uh, oh nice, we get a touchdown on this. Let's go. Paul Williams only had 65 speed, but he gained passing stats. Like he had, he had like 70s throw power and throw accuracy or something like that, or maybe even better. And then uh, Brandstater lost all of his speed. His speed went from 68 or whatever it is down to, uh, I think like 59, whatever the, pretty much the minimum speed is. So he had 59 speed. Some junk like that. It also made my center really bad. It took away a bunch of his stats. I actually didn't really see if it added any kind of passing stats or anything, but it made him really bad. So what I ended up doing is just taking Paul Williams out of the game and then uh, just to run option. And kind of because I was ahead and I really didn't need to pass, I put my fourth defensive back, actually the guy that got the pick right there, uh, Simmons, I put him at quarterback and ran some option because he – and it, it, he actually already had passing stats. The glitch didn't give him passing stats like it did to Paul Williams. He already has okay passing stats, like 60s range uh, throw power. Or no, uh, 60s or 70s throw power and then like 75 accuracy or something like that. Let's get Riley in the middle. Let's see what we can do with Simmons again. Ooh, pick it. Oh, bouncer. Dang it. Yeah, so thanks for tuning in, man. You're my first viewer. My, you're my first live viewer on this uh, on this dynasty. So yeah, this may not be the most exciting game. It's already it's already looking like I'm doing you know. Oh no. Okay. Well, you know I shouldn't speak too soon. Shouldn't speak too soon. You saw what happened with Hawaii. Okay, I'm gonna go four three here. In case we try to run. I mean, you saw what happened with Hawaii. Uh, they're not that good, and the record was really bad, and they they clean my clock. Okay, let's try to jump the snap here. Oh, no, no, no. Darn it. See, I'll show you something here. I got offsides. No, I didn't get offsides. So what happened was uh, it's the it's the jump the snap deal that, I ta that I've talked about where the quarterback calls an audible, and then he snaps it as soon as he gets back under center. Well, what happened here was he went back under center, but he didn't snap it because the right tackle here was looking back over, and so that delayed the snap. 
Wait a minute now. It actually looks like... Maybe that's not the case. It actually looked like I had a good jump. I just pulled back because I didn't think I had a good jump, so I peeled off. Yeah, who knows? So maybe I'm wrong there. Because I guess what I was thinking is maybe I, I didn't think he could. I didn't think he could snap it when the tackles turn like that. I mean, obviously, per football rules, real life football rules, you can snap it like that. I just didn't think the game would, so it made me panic. Panic back out. Okay, we'll we'll use Riley to manual cover the flat here. Their QB actually has composure. He looks like he's not that bad, so... Let's see what we got here. Oh, crosser? Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's a touchdown. Darn it. Okay, we got him. Wow, that was nice throw. Got loose. I had no chance there. Also, Maze is, is pretty slow. I think his speed is only an 84. So, that guy ran right by me. But you know what? I bet this guy's speed isn't much either. 19? Who's 19? Okay, well, pardon me. He's got 91 speed. So let's see what we can do here. Let's let's go nickel. First and goal. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he didn't have the old craft look. Like, oh, what? Oh, I got this. <laughs> okay, we'll try to manual Simmons here. They might run, though. I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, geez. Nice catch. My guy didn't even try to bat it down. Okay, this could be more of a barn burner than I thought. Did my guy really have a chance? I mean, look at that laser. That's a perfect laser. Oh, wow. So if you see this, what does this tell you? My guy's running toward the ball. His guy is actively running away from it. So guess what happens next? Well, whatever you guess is probably wrong because it's a touchdown. You know, this could be a good game to experiment with uh, man pass defense, too. Because, uh, well, for all, besides the fact that my zone just got ripped to shreds, uh, I do, I should generally have their guys um, overpowered quite a bit as far as DBs versus their receivers. So, we'll see. Let's go Clifton. What do we got? Ooh, 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 we got some room. We got some room. We got some room. Get the sideline. Ah, auto jump. Okay, it's okay. It, it, even if he didn't hurdle, uh, that's an automatic thing, by the way. I didn't, I didn't initiate the hurdle. But if he doesn't hurdle, uh, he's getting tackled, so it's really okay. The Fresno State Bulldogs take over at the 50-yard line. First and ten. Okay, this is favorable. If they don't jump the snap, should get a good push here. Oh, okay, they did jump it. Dude, it was a quality back shoulder fade, man. Their guy, he just might be gunning for the NFL. All right, let's try. Let's do delta pivot. I mean, their DBs, oh, they're not that bad. So I do have them overmatched, but not by leaps and bounds. So we'll see. Actually, Paul Williams could get loose deep. Otherwise, we're probably looking for Chaston on the out. Another great jump. That's frustrating. He's open. Oh, goodness. What a bad pass. See, he underthrows this so much. That's another one. See, so you, you'd expect it. And this happened, I think, on the touchdown pass to Paul Williams against LSU. You're expecting the ball to be out here. Look where it ends up. Quite a bit short. Yeah, based on his trajectory, it should even be maybe even farther out. But maybe I need to float it more. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I need to pass more in general to get a better feel for it. Uh, let's run twin halfback. Let's run the double double halfback option here. Third, oh, it's third inches. Uh, okay, this is okay. That's actually good. Okay, looks like they have... I don't know if that's LB rush, or that's just the impact defensive end. Okay, he moved. No! Okay, okay. I was scared that I was going to get knocked back. Did he torch that DB? Oh, I didn't see it. I just... You know, I, I throw it deep so rarely. Well, yeah, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Actually, let's do... What, what even play was that? Let's check it out. Clear out. Let's run clear out. That's a fly route. Okay, this looks like it could be zone. I actually don't know, though. So here I'm probably looking for Chaston or Dwayne Wright, but also I'll look for a safety to, to come up. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'm just not confident throwing it deep. I don't know. 
right there. Yeah, he's pretty open, but also this is a situation I, I'm more comfortable, strangely, when the D, when the DB is right on him because then you know what kind of position you have. When you're when you're when the guy's in zone, you just really don't know who's going to end up in what position, and the DB could end up in a position to run up and pick it. But I'll, I'll look to that play again, though. We'll check it out again at some point. Okay, let's run QB slot. Second and six. Okay, this kind of looks like... This looks like I could try for the keeper. So we'll try for the option. We'll make a read on the left side here. Nope, he, he let... Really didn't get good blocking there. So yeah, so what I saw there was... Uh, oh no, he's my best offensive lineman. Hopefully he's okay. Who's the backup? Because I always show the backup. He's over there on the sideline, scratching his head. 66. Get in there, buddy. So anyways, what I was looking for here is 71 to block this left end, and he didn't. So that's why I headed it off. Oh, man. Yeah, you should be hurt. You know what? That should hurt. Look how far he gets knocked off. He gets destroyed. So, yeah, I don't, I'm not surprised his shoulder uh, his shoulder got hurt. Yeah, exactly. The makeup speed's nuts. So it's, uh, we got third and three. Let's run, let's run a little pass play here. Mesh. Yeah, we'll run mesh. We'll switch the sides, though. So this way, the slot out looks like Fairman is uh, has a little longer to go. Uh, we'll call timeout. Spend a little too much time volleygagging. We'll go backfield here, try to ensure a good throw. Mesh. And from here, we can kick a field goal, so... Um, getting sacked is not recommended, but it's, it's affordable. Okay, it's so actually probably looking for B or R if it's zone. Then if it's man, we're looking for Fairman. So here we go. Hey, ay, ay, I don't know who I'm looking for. I guess we'll just throw it to Paul Williams since he's right there. So that's what happens when you can get a nice protection. Okay, Delta Pivot, thanks. I'll have to check that out. So let's see. Oh, they rush. Did they really just rush one? Okay, they rushed three. But just know I got really good blocking. And I, I kind of scrambled early. I guess I could have hung in the pocket. But I'm just so used to getting collapsed on, I just had happy feet. I ran. All right. Okay, so running QB slot. They're bunched in, so this looks like I should uh, I should have the sideline. I should be able to hoof it out to the right for a touchdown if there's blocking. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, jeez. So that guy got blown up, right guard. Don't know if it was actually a great jump. The keeper was kind of open. So let's see what we can get. Let's spread it back out. Let's spread it back out here. Delta pivot. Oh, okay, because then that's kind of it's not just a straight fly. He kind of runs up. Double outs. Let's run this. So I guess the slant or maybe Y. Oh no! Gosh, I threw off my back foot. I threw off my back foot. Yep. I saw it as soon as I threw it, and Brand Stater is so bad, especially on Heisman, that you just can't just survive that. As soon as I threw it, oh no, I was getting rushed. So did I even do that, or did it like auto float back? Because this guy's Fernandez is open. Fernandez is is very open. Wow. Okay, well, we're not gonna let we're not gonna let freaking Idaho beat us. So that stuff that stuff's out. That stuff is freaking out, man. Uh, it's out of there. We're running the ball. No more, no more wackadoo passing. There we go. The two point conversion you know, if if this keeps happening where they abort their field goal, uh, I might have to stop doing that rush like that because that's getting into cheese territory. Um, here, let's, let's see what we can get here with Clifton. Yeah, that's getting into cheese territory if that's if that's happening all the time. All right, we got sideline. I said I said wackadoo. <laughs> I don't know what macadoo. Not really sure what that would be. I, I said wackadoo. <laughs> I just make up words, man. You know me. Okay, got some nice fall forward there. It's what late first. Okay, it's about the second quarter. McAdoo, he was the guy, he was the coach of the Giants, right? That everybody hated. 
All right, hold on. Jared, uh, J James is in the he's in the Discord and he says, "How do we watch live? Can you help him out? Can you uh, p paste the link in the chat there? I would appreciate it." So I'm not really thinking here, so I'm just running the same play again. Okay, I do actually have pitch man on the left, so let's read it here. Ah, I didn't like it. Okay, it's okay. We got sideline. Thanks, man. Okay, let's go with the QB slot from here. This has it, right? Yeah. Okay, major shift. This uh, okay. This, this should be a good handoff to Dwayne Wright, unless they blow up uh, my O line. So I'm just looking for somebody. Okay, middle guy moved. Ah, jeez. Look at this. He tackles me. He's not even trying. He's engaged in a block. I try to run left. I don't know if I've ever seen that animation where he gets bumped off balance. See, this is this is a uh, okay. I'll, I'll check it out. If it's second down, I don't. I forget what down it is. If it's only second down, we're in delta pivot. But see this. This is the only reason why I love Heisman. You just see you see stuff you never see. On the lower difficulties, you just certain things don't happen. Even in the commentary, like I was saying in, in Discord chat, uh, I think the other day, you just, you see everything in Heisman. Like look at this, he gets bumped and goes off balance. You just you see so much different stuff. Okay, Delta pivot. Here it comes. Uh, at the risk of running plays that chat calls. Where is Delta pivot? It must be on the other one. Yeah, there it is. And this is good for the situation, anyhow. This looks like they could be in zone, not really sure. But we're looking for basically Chaston on the out. Yeah. Did he catch it? No, he didn't catch it. Of course not. Of course not. Wow, my D-line got blown up. Yeah, so it wasn't man, so I didn't really want to throw it there. Alright, let's go. Let's let's run, let's run QB slot option from here, but we have the ability to... Uh, Audible. Ball on the 41 yard line. Okay, how's the shift? They spread out. I think I'm going to go ahead and do the run here, do the handoff. Oh my gosh! No blocking! Terrible. Okay, well, I guess we'll punt. I don't want to give him the ball right here. That's terrible, man. So what does this guy do? Oh, he goes to block the second level, like right off the bat. That's highly unfortunate. So somehow on the right side, okay. So maybe this is something I can recognize in the future. If they're aligned like this, that my left tackle is not going to block the end. He'll block the second level linebacker. That's bizarre because this guy's not even, he's not even rushing. I would think if he's rushing, maybe he'd try to pick it up. Yikes. That's some Jadavion Clowney highlight reel. Fake punt? Oh, no. Well... They have their gunners out. If they didn't have their gunners out, I would consider it here for sure. Okay, let's see if we can get down to this one. Uh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. Special teams. Okay, so they're coming out in a jumbo. Let's run cover three. Yeah, I know. That would have been sweet for the fake punt. I really want to run that at some point. Like, whenever they, uh, whenever they have no gunner blocking, I definitely want to run that. Okay. There we go. Number 32 with the carry. One yard gain on the play. Okay, three wide. We're going to stay with cover three. Uh, we're going to stay in 4-3. Leave the linebackers out there. Okay, we got Riley in the flat. That's good. Actually, that's a bunch of the linebackers, though. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go pass rush. Uh, you know, I would have taken the user pick, but I'll take the safety, too. That's really nice. So who got there? That's just a coverage sack. Hold on to the ball a little too long. Is that Shirley? Oh, that's Lewis Leonard. You guys remember Lewis Leonard, right? Very nice. What's up, John? <laughs> Give me two. Give me the deuce. Let's go. And we got a good return with Clifton time before, so let's see if we can get something going here. Ooh, we have a nice little blocker. Sideline? Oh, no, not quite. Didn't catch the block. Still good return, though. So let's try to run a pass. Let's just actually let's come out and PA read flow. Okay, let's okay, so let's do it. Let's audible to QB slot option. So I can hand it off. L. Right there. 
So I'm hoping to run up the middle here. We'll, we'll fan the, the line, too. Oh my gosh, couldn't get past him. Wow, he had a huge hole, too. What is this? Okay, so my left guy got decked. So if he doesn't get decked, I can run that. I can run through that hole a little bit better. Still got a few yards, so I'll take it. Okay, let's go to this one. Well, I'm not really planning to run at the DE. <laughs> it's not exactly the plan. This looks like a good spot for mesh, actually. Let's run that. Okay, so we're looking for uh, maybe Paul Williams on the on the corner or Joe. So my first read is probably going to be Joe. There we go. Oh, man, they're just not catching it right now. He was kind of open. So we got, what, third and long now? Third and seven? Paul Williams? Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's run the... Uh, Let's run the old, uh, the sweep to Paul Williams. What formation is that? I think it's this one. No, 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 no. It's this one. Okay, then we have the option to s change to the other, to audible, but I think, oh goodness, I don't think we have enough time to do this. Uh, middle zig in. Three, two, huh. Yeah! Oh no, what happened? What happened? What the hell? This it's it's the it's the animations. What is that? Why do I get that animation? Why for? Goodness. Well, I mean that's. Oh my goodness. Whatever. Whatever. Let's go back to Sky Punt. Goodness. Ball on the 45 yard line. Okay, we're gonna aim it down just a touch. Let's see, I don't know. Let's see if we can game it. 39 yard line. That's frustrating, man. Okay, let's go back to go back to cover three. Okay, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try to run man. See what happens. Okay, let's get deep on the other side, though. So I got coverage on this tight end. I'm going to play inside. I do better on pass defense if I play toward the QB. Yeah, look at that. See, I, I can play these guys pretty well in man. I guess I could have gone for the pick here, actually. Yeah, I could have gone for the pick. <laughs> sun was in his eyes. It's that, uh, it's that, it's that Fresno sun. You know, around 9 p.m. Okay, we'll do the same thing. We'll send Maze deep. I got this tight end here. Nice, we got that covered. So I'm going to run man one more time, and it's because normally I probably would go zone here, but um, it's worked these last two times. Okay, we'll switch to where deep zone is over top of the dot man. Play inside again, inside the tight end. That's just my positioning that I like. Oh, no, he's got that. Holding. Rare penalty. See, this is what I don't like about man, is that these guys really do get open. There's, like, no chance because your my DBs just don't stick that well. Man, he only had that. That's that's funny that he dove. That is, that's pretty funny. I don't know why he dove. Ugh. So I had my guy covered, sort of. Yeah, I had him covered. I probably had speed advantage on him. So... Let's do it. Let's go cover two, man. We'll commit. And then if they beat this, then uh, I'll probably go back to zone. Actually, I could try to rush the passer here. Let's try it. Oh, no. It didn't work. So we'll just go guard the post. Yeah, here we go. All right. So here we go. They're punting out of the run end zone. This is why we don't mind playing some D. This is why we don't mind punting. Because it allows these kind of situations. Get this block. Well, I'm not I'm not going for the block. I guess I could have. Okay, we can get a return here, though. Let's go, Clifton. What do we got? What do we got? Okay, let's go out of bounds. Bopper, what's up, man? Glad to see you in the chat. Thanks to the peeps for coming to the chat today. Okay, I need to get rid of this formation. I, I don't use it that much. Actually, let's run the running back double option. Okay, their DN's flashing. That's not good. Their shift is in. Okay, that's good. So the left tackle should be guarding the end. There we go. Let's just get up the sideline. We'll get out of bounds. 
Over. Well, I don't know what you mean by that. Uh, split and drag. Oh, I haven't. Yeah, split and drag is a good play. I should probably run this more. So we got Paul deep out. We've got Fairman coming in. So let's see. Let's just try to get him to jump. Nobody jumping. Nobody jumping. Boom. Oh no. Okay. That's I. That was a little risky, and I'll show you why. Um, I threw it. I really, I, ideally, I want the receiver to clear this defender before I throw it, because their reactions are sometimes so good they'll just kind of stay. Because if he stay, basically if he stays put, I can get blocked by him, which will prevent me from getting to the ball, and then he could get it, bat it down, or pick it. So, uh, so that was a bit of a quick, too quick of a pass by me. Let's go to QB slot option here. Okay, let's audible to PA read flow. Let's see what happens. Let's see what their alignment does. Okay, they scrunch in. So here, I could even do the handoff. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good deal. Okay, we're just going to look to punch it in now. Okay, their defensive end is flashy. I might flip this to the other side then. Let's get let's get tricky. Let's do a little motion. Let's wait for a guy to move on the right. One guy, I think he moved. Oh goodness, that's quite a bunch of. Oh, and they're pushing me backwards. That's crap, man. That's crap. Look at this. Just boop 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 boop. All right, whatever, whatever. So if we get a field goal here, we'll be down by one, and that's okay. Let's do slot whips. Now here's here's actually what I might be looking for on slot whips. If it's zone, I actually want to hit Dwayne right and see if I can get him uh, running toward the end zone on the little on that little uh, little hitch type dealy. Now if this is man, I should be able to hit Paul Williams on the out. It's it's man. Uh, yeah, and I lobbed it because this guy actually had really good coverage, and I didn't want to uh, I didn't want to zip it in because he might I was afraid he might run in front of it and cut it off. Uh, you know, forward progress. Well, he doesn't. He wasn't engaged. He wasn't engaged in a block because I totally agree. Now I want to go back to what's the uh, oh, man? There's that play that I threw that I ran against. Uh, I think it's zig outs, right? And actually, I think that's the one I have audible. I'm gonna have to call timeout here, and that's okay. Yeah, I'll call timeout. timeout. Yeah, if he was engaged in a tackle, it would have been forward progress, but um, he. Uh, he was just getting pushed backwards. He wasn't engaged in any kind of tackle. Yeah, where's the outs? Angle outs. Hmm. We'll try it. Third and goal. Ball on the seven yard so I'm going to let Dwayne Wright run his route. So I think Fairman, I'm going to have him do an in instead of deep. So D lineman, somebody move, please. Somebody move, or not. Gosh darn it, we're throwing it away. Or not, whatever. That's tough, man. There's really just nobody open. And I kind of backed up too far. Well, I mean, depending on how you look at it. If I stay in the pocket, I got these guys right in my face, so I'm not really gonna say I backed up too far. So here, I guess I kind of had this guy open, who's uh, as Joe Fernandez, running to the corner. But at that point, I'm already heavily encumbered with rushers, so what ifs. It's okay. I mean, if I'm not screwed around, I, you know, they don't get that pick six on me, so we'll, we'll be okay. Okay, 12, 11, here we go. Oh, I didn't get it very well. I might have missed. No, I made it. If you look at the, I can't do replay on the kick meter. Well, you can see it here. Uh, if you, if you aim it left or right, you'll see the little thing on the left move left and right. You just want to keep that white stick inside of those, and you get the top accuracy. And uh, for some reason, it registered my direction as straight forward when I was trying to push to the side. Okay, we've got a little momentum. We could even try to get a turnover here or something. Let's go... Let's do... We'll do the cover one. They didn't beat it last time. Okay, we'll get deep coverage on the dot man. Okay, so I'm covering... Oh, you know, let's switch to linebacker so I can cover this tight end. Ooh, ooh, okay. Oh, God, what a floater. Dude, that was a sky shot. Wow. Alley-oop. 
So he's having a pretty hard time against the man, so we'll stay in man. Okay, we're still on the linebacker. We'll stick, oh, you know what, let's go with the slot guy. We'll cover the slot guy. We'll sh sh scoot them over for run support on the left. Yeah, look at that stick, nice. All right, four wide. I guess I'll still run man here. I mean, he's been, their guys, their QB is struggling against the man. He's throwing it to, like, really, he's making some really questionable decisions. Maze, we'll actually get Shirley deep. No, nope, Shirley. Okay, there we go. So I'm on the running back now. So I can kind of cheat back, or if the running back runs around, I'll have to follow him. Okay, oh, they could be running here. They could be running to run out clock. Nope. <gasps> oh! Okay, that had a few levels of fright to it. Goodness. So I'm like, okay, I can maybe pick it. Riley misses the pick. So here's just another wonderful animation that I'm getting. I mean, he has the pick all the way. He just, they just don't give him the animation to where he can reach and get it. Then I tap it. Their guy almost, it almost hits their guy in the hands. Uh, that's not a bad idea, James. Um, well, let's get our double outs. We'll try to set up for a return. It's, it's not, it's not bad. Well, see, the thing is though, okay, he doesn't, here, here's the reason I don't want to do that. He, he, he doesn't really have passing stats, I don't think. He doesn't have passing ability. I think he only got passing ability in that one situation. Let's check, though. Yeah, see, he has 40-40 pass power and, and pass accuracy. To me, it's cheesy to put a guy at QB that literally has no passing ability because the QB will always respect the pass to some degree. Yeah, but, but there are guys that I could do that with. Um, like Elgin Simmons, he has passing stats. 68, 65, you know, he's got some kind of passing stats. So that's the guy I ended up putting in. Um, so I think that's, I think that's, lo that's logical and not cheese if, if your guy has passing stats. So depending on personnel in, in future, uh, in the future of this franchise, I could definitely see some, doing something like that, running a two QB system. But as it stands right now, Brand Stater is my most mobile quarterback and my best quarterback. So he stays in. All right, uh, let's, okay, we got, let's run QB slot off. Well, let's see, should I try to pass here? I think my normal strategy is going to dictate running the ball here, so I'm going to do that, but I'm going to run QB slot option to, and maybe look if I can get uh, Paul Williams as the pitch man. Oh, okay, let's do mesh, let's do mesh, because they, they're pretty bunched up. Okay, so now we got Paul on the deep out, or on that corner out. Okay, let's do Dwayne Wright block. Okay, so we're looking for Joe coming across the middle, or... Yeah, no, no, okay. No, no! Oh, no, 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 that's bad. Just go tackle. Okay, so here's what I saw. I actually was about to throw it to Joe Fernandez, but he stops. I thought he was going to keep running to the sideline. So we're looking at going into halftime down by four now, if we can't get uh, any help on this, uh, in the passing game right here. Because their kicker also is impact. He's an impact kicker. Let's go with cover one. Somehow we didn't lose any momentum there, which is amazing. Helps quite a bit. Okay, let's go cover this tight end manual. Play inside. Oh, they're running the ball. Wait, how many timeouts do they have? Two more, okay. Okay, I'm gonna run cover three since they're doing five wide and that's because I, it's easier to snipe. Let's see what happens if I go there. I'll play this. It's easier to uh, snipe picks in the flats. Oh goodness. Um, in, in in like a in a zone against five wide because they're just they're more likely to throw it short. Okay, they're probably running the ball here. We don't trust them though, so we're gonna run. We're, I'll run cover two man. I really just don't want to give up a touchdown. Um, even if they. Even if they get, if they get if they get a first down if they get tackled they're probably still kicking the field goal here right do they have a timeout yeah they have one so they're probably calling timeout okay run play got him okay the clock's running I don't know okay my guy's celebrating I mean they got to call timeout at some point right is this just a glitch in the AI okay we're gonna come out and field goal block. Six, five, they're gonna get it off. There they go, the timeout, okay. 
So we'll go for the block. And like I said, though, if they keep, if I keep getting that thing where they abort the field goal and go into a pass, and I and I sack them, I gotta like not do that as much or something. Okay, didn't get it there. Of course, that'd be good from 80 yards. <laughs> spot receiver more valuable than a spot QB with no passing stats. Yeah, definitely. He's more valuable at the receiver spot. Okay, we'll bring this out just in case. Yeah, nothing. Wow, well, we got our work cut out for us. I think we get the ball at half. We need to get in the freaking end zone, though, man. I guess we've got the end zone once already. We gotta shoot. NCA though, how about it? LSU? I mean, I'm not gonna say no problem, LSU, but... Oh, get a block, get a block! <sighs> okay, that's okay. Can't complain. That's a good return. Oh, you know, I should flip this. Uh, yeah, we'll flip it. Oh, okay, well, we got... Maybe a handoff actually coming on the other side. No, let's put it back, put it back. Oh my goodness! How fast is that defensive end, man? I know Paul, uh, Dwayne Wright's not fast at all, but shoot. Okay, let's run split end drag. Okay, we might actually audible to QB slot option here since they have so many DBs on the field. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so maybe a handoff up the middle here. Oh my gosh, dude. Can that... Dude, can we really not block? Can we really not block? Okay, so now let's go to... Let's go to that play where Paul uh, runs a, uh, a corner out. Normal, or where are we at? Deep cross-up. Yeah, let's run that. I like deep cross-up because it's also has the potential for uh, Dwayne Wright, a pass to Dwayne Wright over the middle. So that's pretty much what we're reading here, is your L or X here. There we go, we got L. We got L. Ooh, let's go, get loose. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Hawaii, Idaho, it's uh, something about those old, uh, you know, if you may have at one point played in the Big West, <laughs> we're gonna have, we're gonna have some trouble. Okay, let's go ahead and block Dwayne right here. I don't know if this is man. If it is, I want to throw it to Paul. It is. There we go. Didn't care for running out of first, ba uh, first down range, but that's okay. Let's go back to QB slot. And three. So here I got some potential to run sideline. They shift, but it looks pretty good still. So I'm going to try fanning my line to the right, see if that helps. I really want to see somebody move. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. We can outrun him to the sideline. There we go. We're going to go down. Good job, Clifton. Oh, something else to check. Did I? I think I need to manually do this every time. We need to put Clifton first, Dorsey second. There. Okay. Just get. It just. It helps for the. Uh, yeah. The, so that probably wasn't right all game, actually. I probably had a. Uh, a uh, Vercher in. Uh, the whole time at running back in my twin halfback formation. Impact guy. Okay. This looks like the uh, the QB keeper. So as long as the left side doesn't get blown up, we're keeping it. I would like to see the end move or something, though. Okay, no. Okay, we're actually just going to go down. No, 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 no! Gosh, I tried to dive to get down, and they warp. This guy, like, warps beneath me for the big hit. Oh, my gosh. Second and eight. Paul's in the zone, so let's go to our, uh, let's, let's go to the sweep. Okay, this looks good. They're in a nickel. They fan out though. They don't fan out yet. They're not fanning out. Okay. So we'll just we want someone on the right side of the line to move. Nobody's moving, so we're gonna go one, two, count. There we go. Oh, get on, get on, go, go, go. Okay, okay. Okay. So last time in the short yardage, I ran goal line. Didn't work. So we're gonna go to QB slot option here. Okay, we do have mesh dart disposal, but I think we're gonna stick with the run. I think I can hit the sideline. We just need blocking to hold up. No, no. Do we audible the mesh? I th I still want to run, man. Actually, I might try to run up the middle. Okay, he, was, he jumped early. There we go. Gosh, good job, Clifton. Good job. 
Was he offsides? Okay, we didn't get the offsides, so it's really clutch that uh, we got the first. Okay, I know. Okay, let's do this. Let's go back to the sweep. So I just really don't want to pass it here and potentially get sacked. So look at this. So they're out in two bed of formation for this. How do they bunch, though? Okay, so the right end, I'm really hoping the right end blocks the or the right tackle blocks that end. If he doesn't, I'm going to try to go up the middle. Okay, we got up the middle. We got up the middle. Oh, no. Okay, okay. We got a couple yards. Okay, ball on the one. We're, we're doing it. We're going in. We're going in for it. Now we can blast in. It's only a yard. They're bunched in. Okay, I just want someone to move on the left side. Someone move, please. Someone move. They're not moving. They're twitching. Their graphics twitch. Okay, let's go. There we go. Okay, so if we go for two, that puts us up by four. We'll just stick with the three. We'll go up by three. I I don't run QB sneaks in this game. I don't know how well they work. It's just not something I do. I should look into that, though. Because I don't think... It, it's not like... It's, it's not like Maddens and stuff where... The QB actually dives forward, or I should say the newer Maddens. I think he just takes a snap and just starts running. Which is really good if you're going to get pushed, but if you don't get pushed, you could potentially get pushed back. I might have to try that in practice mode, though. I really don't know. Dude, clipping. Call the clipping. Okay, so we've been having really good luck running the man defense, so we're going to keep running man cover one. We'll put Maze deep coverage. I guess it doesn't matter who's in coverage, though. Uh, Shirley's faster, so let's stick with that. Okay, I'm going to go nickel cover three here because I just I don't know what it is. I have a thing like I'm afraid of getting ran on if I go dime uh, cover one. Okay, well, Emmanuel Riley, see if we can snipe something. Okay, here we go. He's throwing it this way. Oh, no, he's throwing it there. Okay. Ah, oh, man. Okay, first down. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Cover one, man. I, w I would bet, if I had to bet, I would bet they run the ball because they're telepathic and they know, like, I just, I bet they run here. Okay, let's, didn't jump it. Go back to Maze. Nope. <gasps> oh! I guess I should have batted it down. Because, of course, I don't get a jump animation. He almost catches it, in fact. Oh, he drops it. I'm in perfect position to try to try to pick it. I haven't tried slowing down. Like, look, I'm running. You even see me slow down. I slow down, then I go for the pick animation. Oh, goodness. This is just not my game. Thank goodness it's Idaho. Imagine if this was not a garbage team that I'm playing against. If this is a good team, I'd be getting destroyed right now. Okay, we'll leave Shirley in coverage. Okay, we got the, the fullback. We can handle that. Get out there. Oh, okay. Goodness, look at that fall forward, man. Crazy. I tried to big hit. What I did, I just whiff it. Yeah, I just whiffed it. He spun on me. Okay, they're in jumbo, but I don't think... I don't know what to do here. I am either either need to call... Okay, I'm definitely going 4-3. I either want to call uh, cover one man, or I want to go cover three. I don't want to do cover two zone. I'm going to go cover three zone. Where is that at? There we go. And this will let me cheat up with the safety. Okay, we'll go over here. I just, I don't know. They, we might give up the first here. But I just don't trust entirely that they're running. Okay, oh, they're, oh, get on it, get on it. Yeah! Finally, we get a break. We get a break. And I'm sure I've got other breaks this game. I just I like to complain. You know me. Tyler Klutz. Yeah, oh, dude. Super clutch. Okay. We're going to stick to the ground. I mean, it's... Uh, okay. We have a little momentum. Does that change our shift? Kind of does. Can we get him to run in and block? Oh, we got it. Oh, no! Gosh, dang it. It was a great jump. Okay. God, the freaking dot guys, man. The dot guys are so killer. Okay, let's do this. Let's go back to twi uh, QB slot option, the double tight end shotgun. And we can look to mesh here. Okay, okay. We've got some room maybe to go sideline with Clifton. Okay, they shift over. That's okay. We still have blockers out there. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Can we get a first? Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. I was looking for that too. So what else we got here? Let's run let's run slot wheel. I just want to see see if I can get it to Paul Williams in here. Looks like I have Fairman go down the side. Oh, it's man. Okay, they're showing their coverage. They are showing their coverage, so we're gonna see what we can do here. We're gonna bear deep. Oh goodness, couldn't even catch it. Of course, you know, the Idaho's got those. I'm sure this guy's going to be a, this DB is going to be a first round pick by the Cowboys, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, we need yardage for a potential, uh, if we don't get a first, a potential uh, third down conversion shorter. Bear, was Bear open? Let's look at Bear. Uh, yeah, he kind of was. He's just so slow. He's so slow. If you have a misstep, like he'll, if it's a bad pass, he has a hard time getting to it. Okay, okay, we got the read on the left side, so hopefully we can keep it here. Just somebody move, or don't. Or don't. Oh, goodness, that was a blow up on the blocking. Pitch, yes. Oh, get it, stretch it out, stretch it out. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, nice job, Paul. He didn't make his break yet. Well, I think I had him audible actually to uh, just a streak. Okay, we could stretch this outside line, so I'm going to go for the handoff. This could also be a situation to audible to, uh, to, oh my gosh, are they offsides? Yeah, they're offsides. I was about to say, this could be a situation to audible to mash, but I don't, I don't want to get sacked. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try to pound it in. Let's go, Clifton. And actually... I might even consider going for it if I get into a fourth down here because I would really like to get up by more than touchdown because if I kick a field goal, I'm only up six. Oh, no. How did I get blasted back? Okay. I get, like, clipped on this guy, which makes me apparently just a sitting duck. Oh, my goodness. Third down. Second goal. Okay. Okay. Let's spread it out. Actually, let's call Mesh. Let's call Mesh. See what they do. Actually, might have Bear here. Let's block Dwayne Wright because we're not throwing in the middle here. Let's look for Bear. Oh, quarter right now. Okay. <laughs> well, that's true. Hey, now, we <laughs> physics don't factor in. We know this. The DB that tackled him is probably the same size. Oh, let's audible. Let's audible to the run now. Okay, this looks good. Hopefully we get blocking on the right side. Nobody's moving. Nobody's moving. There we go. Let's get in. Come on. Let's go, boys. Okay, so we're up by nine. We'll go up by ten. Go for one. Go for one. That was good blocking. That's what I was looking for. God, the center got blown up, though. Look at that, look at that man, Kyle Young. He's my best offensive lineman. This guy doesn't even look that big. 92. Thank goodness. Yeah. Thank goodness he's slow and not highly rated. I was able to run in still. Dude. Should have known Idaho would be a freaking dogfight. Idaho Vandals. Of course I get depleted. You see Chaston over there? I'm like trying to run around. I'm actively running away from the blocker and I get depleted still. <sighs> oh, you know, another thing I should consider in this, which side I use, if I flip it a certain way, then Riley is in coverage in a zone. So I should probably go with that. Oh, I got PI. Yeah. You'll see, like, oh, darn it. Hold on. I lost video. One second, guys. One second. Oh, let's see here. I kicked the cord, and the cord's kind of uh, it's a little, it's a little touchy. Let's see, game capture, no signal. Yeah, let me just replug the deal. My bad, guys. Does that work? No signal. Hold on. 
It's really not taking it. Uh, hopefully I didn't lose the Xbox, because sometimes when you disconnect your video source, it'll turn the Xbox off. Let's try this here. There we go. Let's see if that works. There we go. Ooh, the game's still running. Hold up. Pause. There we go. Okay. We're back, though. We're back. Look how smooth that was. See, from years of uh, doing the podcast, we can handle we can handle a technical difficulty or two. All right. Actually, let's can we do. Oh, I was going to do a replay to see what play they ran before because I think they ran a play already. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. What a good time to turn the game back on. How about it? Yeah, surely. Get loose. Chuck that ball. Okay, we'll try to stop before we get a penalty. Okay, this is good. This is good. Now, let's just try to run the ball. And I'm actually, uh, I'm going to take Paul out because I don't want him to get hurt. Let's put in Sacone over there. They'll take over at the 31 yard line. First and 10. Clifton, I can semi afford, I can afford for Clifton to get hurt because we have Dorsey. Dorsey is almost the same as Clifton. Slot again. We just want to run the clock out pretty much. So we're okay to run the clock out or, run, you know, run, 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 punt. Okay, we have a little uh, action potentially though on the left side here. So we can we can run that. And it's second down, so if we lose yardage, we have uh, we have another down to make up yardage to try to. Uh... Oh, here we go. Yes, let's get down. Don't want to get hit by a dot man. What I was going to say is if I lost yardage, we still had one more down to try to get back into field goal range. Okay, it looks like they might be doubled up on the slot. Yeah, they are. Look at that. Or it could be a zone. really not sure. Either way, I think this is a handoff. The dot man's on the right, so I'd rather run left. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I just I saw the guy come up and uh, fill the hole. I was like, well, guess I'm not going there. Whoop. Then he still runs over. Wait, is it him or another guy? No, it's the DN runs over and he gets a big hit on me. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to call a pass. Let's do this. I'm going to call a pass. Let's call a deep strike, and then I'm going to audible to uh, QB slot option. Look at this. I call. Okay, well, I call deep strike, and they they don't they they're calling my bluff. Apparently, they're telepathic. PA read flow. I don't like this at all. Let's audible. Uh, QB slot option. We'll just hand it off. Oh goodness. Ugh. It's okay. We're okay with run and punt. Or excuse me, run and field goal. We're okay with that. 345. Okay, let's try to get a first, though. Let's see if we can do something in the flavor of a, uh, of a first down here. Slot whips. Let's do double cross. Third and, eight. Ball on the and we can also, I don't, I don't like saying this, we actually can't afford to turn it over here. It's really not the end of the world. Okay, look at this. We've got Joe Fernandez on the deep out, so we might like to go to that. So we're either doing that or Chaston. Okay, it looks like, ugh. Clear him. Chaston, no! Okay, yep. Yeah. Got a little too aggressive there. That's okay. I already said before, I can throw it into traffic. It's not a huge deal. Gosh, I was just really hoping I could thread it in there. I guess I waited too long. I mean, look at the break this guy makes. Just amazing break. Oh, there go my red zone stats. Oh, wait, was it? I don't think I was in the red zone, actually. Dude, we might have to do a Dr. Disrespect. <laughs> Oh no, cackle him. He's definitely not Pat Mahomes. You know what, that's that's something I like about, uh, I do like it about Heisman. Um, you have to have a good QB to do that kind of stuff. It's true. Oh my god, the ref blocked me. The ref blocked him. <laughs> Dude, John's throwing out the Craig Asman chat. I don't know if I like that. 
That's why I was off sides. Yeah, I must have contacted the guy. So if uh, what is it? If so, when they run hurry up, when they run hurry up, your guys will run back. Your guys can actually like clip through the offense when you're running back to get back in defensive position for the snap. But if you manually control a guy and you touch him, then they call a penalty. Then you can't clip through. It's kind of weird. Okay, since they're running hurry up now, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to nickel. I just don't want to get caught in a 4-3 if they're running hurry up. We'll go back to zone too. Zone is more of a sure tackling. Oh, you know, let's do this. Let's. We're gonna bait. Oh, man! How many things are gonna hit us in the hands? So here's what I want to do though. I want to manual control. Oh, here we go. Five wide. I'm gonna manual control Macaulay and try to bait a pass deep. Because I'm pretty confident in my ability to knock down, knock down their passes. So let's see if I can bait them here. And I say bait like I'm going for like a hard read, like a pick, but I'm really not even doing that. There we go, nice. See, they like, they like throwing to your side. Whenever you're in man coverage, or not man coverage, whenever you're manually controlling the defender, they love throwing to you. Especially deep. Especially deep. So yeah, we're gonna control Macaulay. Okay, their guy's flashy. So what that means is, if they throw it and it's like a streak situation, I need to run extra deep more than it looks like I should because their guy can potentially get the arm stretch out uh, motion. Here we go. Oh, ooh, nice, nice coverage. Okay, they're probably going for it, right? Two minutes left, they should be going for it. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to try to bait them into throwing it my way so I can bat it down. Let's get a little crowd pump up, AJ. There we go. Okay. Okay, there's dot guys on the other side, though. Okay, let's get there. Nice. There we go. That's what we needed. All right. So now let's just hand it off and get the heck out of here. It's going to take a couple first downs, but still, we that's that's the idea. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no! Oh, my God. Ridiculous. So is this like a superhuman? Yeah, deck. It's, dude, here's another just body situation. Dex Denman. Flattens me, picks it up, scores. I mean, that's like all-timer. That's like all-time highlight reel stuff. Goodness. Oh, you guys. I know, right? Yeah, exactly. The clowny play. I'm just going to let that go out of the back. So I guess we're getting Paul back in. So we still have a little momentum. Let's go QB slot. We still, I don't want to give up on the run, man. I really don't want to pass it here. Just so many bad things happen in the passing game. Okay, they shift left. That's good. So potential for the QB keeper here on the left. Oh, my God. What happened? Why is he running back? Where, well, this pitch goes nowhere. What is happening? Dude. This freaking game. This freaking game. Okay. Okay, let's go PA read flow. Let's see if I can hit Clifton on the swing out. Uh, they got a lot of guys. They're probably rushing here, so we're going to... We're going to block Clifton so that we... Uh, do it out with Fernandez there too. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Let's go, Paul. Get on the hoss. Let's freaking go. Man, screw Idaho. God damn. I hope you guys are excited about that one. As excited about that as I was. <laughs> they it back. Right? They would. They would. Oh my goodness. We needed that. It's about time. I mean, you know, and here, here's something I would question. I would ask myself, have I not, have I not gotten the ball to Paul enough this game? You know, have I, have I been too conservative simply handing it off to Clifton? Clifton's not my best offensive player, but I keep feeding them the ball. Maybe I should have been going to Paul Williams more the whole time because this is that's the kind of thing that can happen. Getting the ball to your dot guy, that's the kind of stuff that can happen. And I guess maybe I didn't facilitate that enough, you know? Maybe I needed to call more passes and try to get it to him. Because also, as much as I like the the receiver sweep option, because it's kind of it's a fun play, it's kind of a cute deal, kind of a cute little trickery-ish type of deal. Um, it's not it's not a real high potential play. 
Like against now against lower difficulties, it is because if your blocking holds up on those sweeps, uh, those sweep options, you can get big yardage. But in Heisman, the blocking simply doesn't hold up. It never does. So maybe maybe against lower uh, teams, I need to I need to get it to to Palmore, and just impact guys in general. They don't. So okay. So as far as plus stats, James, in certain situations. The times you'll see them get plus stats is when they're flashing. So you, you probably have heard me talk about, oh, this guy's flashing or whatever. That's, uh, oh, nice. Knocked him out of the game. When they're flashing, they're going to make a big, they're, they're way more likely to make a big play. They're almost guaranteed going to make a big play when they're flashing. So, okay, look, Riley here is flashing. His, he's, he's a flashy dot. So he's more likely to make a big play if the, if the ball comes his way. And actually, if I had noticed that he was flashing, I would have put him at receiver rush. Oh, my gosh. I would have put him at rusher because he's he's also more likely to uh, get by the defensive end for a sack or a pressure. So yeah, and a lot of times it is situation based. Like if you're uh, certain situation certain situations it does it's almost guaranteed. Like if you have an impact kicker, which is a thing, you have impact. Oh, their kicker's impact. In fact, if you have an impact kicker and it's like a late game field goal. Or something a lot of times they'll be in the zone just automatically and they probably program it that way because those situations don't come up as much oh goodness is that first hey we got it back awesome can we kneel it out not quite okay well now we'll take paul out so anyway it is kind of situation based or if it's the end of the game a lot of times if it is a clutch situation they'll go ahead and just put him in the zone so you you will see that So I apologize, guys, for uh, making Idaho a nail biter. Granted, like the the pick six that I threw, I'm really not going to be doing that kind of stuff against a better team. So I was, I was cutting loose just a bit. Oh my gosh! There we go. Got the fall forward with stiff arm. Let's run the same play. Yeah, so here they have their defensive end is flashy, so I'm going to hand it off. But if he tackles me, there is a chance that uh, he'll uh, sack me or he to make the fumble is what I meant to say. Okay, at least I say it bounds there. So let's just run it off the side here. Yeah, but the in the zone thing, it'll either happen randomly or it'll happen in the clutch situation as the game d uh, decides if it's clutch. So I got kind of moved. Get a first. Here we go. Yeah. Got it. So now we can kneel it. And uh, and I'm going to uh, kick a field goal. Wait. Oh, I'm in the red zone. Yeah. If I wasn't in the red zone, I would. Uh... Oh, no. I didn't mean to call. I didn't mean to call field goal here. I meant to call kneel. I was going to say, if I wasn't in the red zone, I would just kneel it out. But I don't. I want to have my red zone stats stay good. So I will be... Uh... Where's QB Neal? I'm going to kick a field goal. Great jump on the Neal. Clutch. So, I don't know. I don't know, James. I was actually just wondering about that. If I go into the red zone and then back out, I don't know if that counts as a red zone miss. It, it might not, but I don't know. I guess I could try it. I don't know. I don't want to risk it at this point. I'm just going to stick with my game plan. That's a good question, though. I feel like I mean, if the game operates like with normal logic, then it would count as a red zone because you were in the red zone at one point. All right, we got him. Idaho made us sweat a bit, but we got him. So the big thing here is we're going to check the recruiting. Yeah, thanks, James. Appreciate it, man. We the big thing is the recruiting. We got to see if those guys, if those guys. Uh, well, it's disrespectful, but it's about, all about the red zone stats. If you end the game in the red zone, it counts as a red zone miss. So that's why I went for the field goal. So, and I don't know if you guys were here at the beginning of the stream, but one thing I do want to start doing that I thought of is you, you might remember me uh, talking about how because 
playing the games instead of simulating them skews toward uh, your defensive stats and it makes it easier to get good defensive players. I'm actually going to impose a self uh, restriction on recruiting where I can only recruit three star or less. It, 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 as long as I'm as long as I'm mid major, so if I get to the Pac-10 or something, this could change. But as long as I'm mid major, I'm going to restrict myself to only three stars or less, unless the guy, unless the recruit is from Fresno or Clovis, or really any Central Valley town. Um, I don't know what other Central Valley towns are on here. The only one I'm not sure if I would count it is Sacramento. I don't. I think Sacramento doesn't like to consider itself part of the Central Valley, so I don't know. Okay, look at this. We got. We got the receiver from Clovis. We got our guy there. We got the guard from Livermore. Very nice. So we got a couple guys. Six foot three forty-seven. That's stout. Well, hey, if 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 uh, Maze is from Sacramento and a four-star, I think that says everything. So we don't need to save quite yet because we're going to save after this. So we had two guys commit. That's awesome. So yeah, like I was saying, if uh, yeah, dude, center of gravity, low man wins exactly. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do no, I, I'm going to stick with my recruiting for now, but when I get to off season recruiting and from there on, I'm only going to do four star or five star if they're from Central Valley. So let's see, even though he's a soft verbal, he plans on taking all his visits. He was concerned about not being a starter. So we're still number one with this guy. I just worry because we hit basically the interest is basically the same as, as Arizona and USC. So that's a little frightening. What about here? Receiver's good performance, caught his attention. So with good academics is what he wants. Clark, we got this guy. Okay, so let's just go 50-50. Actually, I might even do like 60-40 because I really, the, the mobile QB would be huge. Oh, no, wait, I'm looking at the wrong guy. So let's really lay into this guy. Let's let's put down the full court press, as they, as they say. So there we go. So recruiting, we got two more dudes. We got the guard. We got the receiver. Uh, what else? That so who do we, who, who's left? Louisiana Tech, San Jose State. So this is kind of the gauntlet now. Hey, look at that! Louisiana Tech's four and six. That means they must have lost some games because they were in the lead in the in the whack. So let's have a look at the standings and see where we're where, where we're at, because it's possible that we're back toward the top now since we've won a couple in a row. So we're in fourth place. Hawaii, Nevada, Boise. Gosh darn it! So the team Hawaii and Boise we both lost to. So if we tie with them. That we're not going to get the, the the conference. So yeah, we got to win out, win out, and see see where things go. Boise Boise is next against Nevada, and Hawaii plays Purdue. That's a strange one. So hopefully they lose to Purdue. Boise Nevada they play each other. Oh, so that really doesn't help me. So basically both. So this their next game doesn't matter. Then after that, if they both lose, then I have a chance. At the at the conference, so so yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks guys for checking out the stream. Next game against was it San Jose or LA Tech? I didn't quite catch it, but at any rate, thanks for watching. It's been a good one, and we'll catch you guys next video. Oop.